two one and three AFC East foes clash when the Miami Dolphins visit the New England Patriots on Sunday afternoon. We're here to break it down for you with a money making opportunity on a total. I'm Steve Seagrave from SportsMemo.com. If you guys enjoy this content, hit that like button. Subscribe to the Wager Talk channel if you haven't already. Let us know in the comment section who you like in Week Five in the NFL, whether it's a side, a total. Or a player prop will be checking those comments, responding back to you guys. I also have a great promo code to share towards the end of the video. It'll save you some money on a 30-day all-access pass. So, last NFL video last week with the Patriots, we had a heartbreaking loss in that one. We had Jacoby Brissett under passing yards. It was a stone-cold under for the first three and a half quarters of the game. Until 4.33 left on the clock, Antonio Gibson... Breaks a 50-yard reception, and Brissett ends up going over by only 11 yards, even with that 50-yarder. 49ers obviously let up a little bit defensively on that one, and it was a heartbreaking loss for us. But we move on to this week. we got Miami Dolphins at New England Patriots. Kickoff at 1 p.m. Eastern from Gillette Stadium. Basically a coin flip game here. Got a low total at 36.5. Patriots minus 1. Home uh, favorites at home. Both teams coming off embarrassing losses. Uh, Patriots lose 30 to uh, 13 in San Francisco against the Niners. Dolphins embarrassed on Monday Night Football at home against Tennessee, 31 12. Very similar scores in those two games. Both teams are 1 and 3, both with st uh, three straight losses, both with slim v victories, even in week one. Miami gets the the ATN fumble there against Jacksonville. Bengals with uh, plenty of uncharacteristic turnovers against the Patriots. Neither team has eclipsed 20 points on the season. This is a, uh, just honestly, this is a god -awful, two god-awful teams at this point. Both dealing with injuries as well. Uh, Patriots center, the big one for the Patriots. David Andrews now out, their starting center, and that's going to hurt them tremendously. Uh, for various reasons, obviously. And then on the other side of things, Miami dealing with a boatload of injuries as well. Everyone knows about, obviously, the Tua concussion, but we also got Raheem Mostert uh, limited. If, if, if he does return, uh, Mike McDaniel said that he'd be limited at best. I think this game is going to be played at a snail's pace, obviously. Both teams just trying to figure out a way to conservatively not make the mistake to kill themselves and win this game. Uh, Tyler Huntley really struggled in that Monday night football game to get anything going against Tennessee. Now, I mean, they have an extra week under their belt, but it's a short week coming off that Monday night football game. Dolphins have not eclipsed 12 points in their last three games. Uh, this New England defense, they, they, they've struggled against the pass. They've allowed the six most, most passing yards. And uh, But Miami, I don't think they can throw the ball almost against anyone, really, at this point. I think that we see the Patriots really use the ball control here with uh, Stevenson and try to just whittle this clock away. It's, it's going to be a defensive game. Like I said, both teams are going to struggle to score. Without, that goes without saying, obviously, here. It's not going to be a pretty game. I think that uh, the Dolphins' team total under 17.5. It seems 17.5 seems like a lot. At this point, despite obviously the Dolphins have these weapons, Tyreek Hill, Jalen Waddle, uh, A Chain, obviously, but these they just can't get anything going with the quarterback situation. They can't protect. They couldn't protect Huntley the other night against the on Monday Night Football. That was just an awful game. Patriots offense not much better. Obviously, I think you could look towards the full game under, but 36 and a half. Uh, it's tough under to play for a full game. I think the Patriots, if you're going to play a side here, um, I lean towards the Patriots winning this game at home, but I don't have faith in either side. I think the best bet is here to take Dolphins team total under 17.5 at minus 112 over at DK. Guys, if you use the code SPORT30, get you $50 off a 30-day all-access pass over at sportsmemo.com. Brings it down to less than $6 per day. It's about the best deal you're going to see over at Sports Memo or Wager Talk. 
Uh, very busy sports month. We got NBA and NHL right around the corner. You'd have some of that involved if you got a 30-day pass. I do have a 5% NFL play for Sunday, 4% college football play, play of the week for Saturday. I'll be in action this weekend with WNBA playoffs, MLB playoffs. Uh, we got plenty of things going on, plenty of value in that package. If you were to pick up that 30-day all-access pass and use the code SPORT30, it'll get you $50 off the pass. I, there's always a link in the pinned comment to my sports memo page. I always have free plays posted at X. If you guys want to go over there at Steve's Book 22 and give me a follow, I have free plays posted at sportsmemo.com as well. If you guys enjoyed this video, hit the like button and try to enjoy this, this ugly game between the Patriots and the Dolphins. Good luck in week five.